How did you pull that off? I think it's pretty obvious. So you don't know? No. This is all very enlightening, but it doesn't give me the million dollars that I was supposed to have in 20 minutes. Why did you write that silly check to yourself anyway? Come to think of it, I don't remember. Wait a minute, I remember. I was with you that night. It was uh, when I was home from med school on a holiday break. Back then, I used to pick up a few shifts of Fatima's whenever I came home. Well, what do you think? I don't know, Fatima. It's just not for me. Maybe someday. You're one of those, uh, those Muslims, too, huh? There's a lot of you people moving into town. Well, maybe you should talk about it on your show, Mr. Tupper. I guess. Uh, what would I say? <laughs> Oh my gosh, Brian! I I haven't seen you since high school. Come on, come on, hugs. Uh, oh, hugs. <laughs> so, how how are things? Um, same. <laughs> Rick's the same. Parents are the same. You know, nothing ever changes. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Why? It's awesome. Hey, um, you have to come to my New Year's party. There will be tons of people from our old crowd. <laughs> oh, I didn't realize I was in the old crowd. <laughs> oh, oh my God, that's so not true. So you'll come. Yeah, I'd like to. Awesome. Oh, and uh, don't worry, there will be plenty of non-alcoholic drinks, because, uh, you know, the whole Muslim-Muslim thing. Yeah, I'm aware of the whole Muslim-Muslim thing. Cool. I'll call you. OK. OK, Jabba. Oh, my god. Can you believe that? I'm going to one of Sandy Sharp's parties. Let us celebrate by bagging up the takeout orders. Oh, right. Two chicken kormas. And one cake. Hmm. You know, I have no idea what to wear tonight. Can I go early? After the rush dies down. So now. All right, run along. You're the best, Fatima. Here's your cake, Mr. Tupper. Oh, thanks, Tut. And uh, remember what I told you. Muslims, good topic for a show. Muslims, huh? Well, I guess I could talk about Muslims on the show. I just don't know what angle to take, you know? I mean, my, uh, my four year are against you, huh? <laughs> Mom, are you and Dad still going to the dinner party at the Cowans tonight? Yeah. OK, ask me if I want to tag along. What? Why? Just ask me. Do you want to tag along? I can't. I have plans. You already told me that this morning. Mom, you're ruining my moment here. Sorry, sorry. What are your plans? Sandy Sharp invited me to her party. Mm-hmm. Who's Sandy Sharp? The girl who flushed my socks down the toilet in Green Eye Gym. The one who crazy glued my face to her locker. The one who laughed at me when I went to the prom without a date. Gee, I can see why you'd want to usher in the new year with her. Yes, yeah, so you're almost ready. We're going to be late for the Cowans. You're not dressed. Well, I'm not naked. What's wrong, Dad? Look at that. Five years ago, I wrote myself a post-dated check for half a million dollars. Oh, I think that's going to bounce. By now, I'm supposed to own a kayak, a rowboat. We live in the prairie. So I was going to buy myself a pond. Why don't you write yourself a check for a full million and post-date it for five years from now? Darling, you're brilliant. You just doubled my money. Oh, oh don't answer it. I don't want to seem too eager. Sweetie, those are the kids who made fun of you in high school. I know. I want to impress them. And you will, because you're cool. Mm. Says the man in socks and sandals. Please get dressed. Hello? Oh, hey, Sandy. <laughs> What's up? What's that, darling? Directions to Sandy's house. Oh, my gosh. Where does she live? In Kate's house, Dave's house, and Jennifer's house. Oh, you are the little party hopper. No, these are the people I'm supposed to pick up on my way there. And the times they're all supposed to be home by. Oh, that sounds like fun. Yeah, Sandy obviously just invited me so that I would be the designated driver, because she knows I'm a Muslim and I don't drink. Oh, honey, I'm sure that's not true. Please, you should have seen her in high school. I remember it was about five years ago today. I was Darling, going to... Nobody's interested in the story about five years ago. Yeah. Well, anyway, I thought she'd changed. In retrospect, I should have been tipped off when she said she hadn't changed. Oh, honey, I'm sure you're misreading this. Nobody's going to invite you to a party just to be designated driver. That is ridiculous. I hate to interrupt, but we could be late for the calendar. Oh, well, we have 15 minutes. Yes, but on the way, we have to pick up the Douglases, the Morgans, and the Sheridans. This was way more fun than going out anyway. Oh, I agree. You know, technically, in the Islamic calendar, there is no December 31st. Really? Hmm? I didn't know that. And this just in, the Prime Minister is recovering after receiving a snake bite. 
during a magic trick gone wrong at a New Year's Eve party in Toronto. They Toronto. What do they get up to in that city? Oh my gosh, it's almost midnight. Should we turn on the TV? Remember, it is not a New Year's Eve dinner. Just a dinner on New Year's Eve. You know, Sarah, technically in the Islamic calendar, there is no December 31st. Mm -hmm. Really? I didn't know that. Well, happy not New Year's Eve to everyone anyway. Hear, hear. Mm. What? I'm not Muslim. <laughs> oh, switching colors. It's not good. What a fun night. So many friends. So many dishes. You know, if we had a million dollars, we could pay someone to do this. Oh, you could fix the dishwasher. Stop moping. You've got health, you've got safety and comfort, and you spent last night in a house full of people who love you. Yeah, right, darling. That's much more important than a million dollars. Dad, I have something for you. Is it a million dollars? Better. Ten million dollars. All you have to do is sign your name. Brilliant! This will really motivate me. Five years from now, we will have our own swimming pool. Huh? On the back of a luxury yacht. <laughs> this may not be the first day of our year, but it is the first day of the rest of my life. Where are you going? Nap. Oh, wait. First, can you get the mare off our couch? Water, please. <laughs>